What is up, people? Skywalker Hendricks here with another video for you guys today. I am looking at the Black Series Clone Wars Ahsoka Tano and her 332nd Clone Trooper. Um, I have taken a look at these guy, this guy before. Um, just gonna do an overview of him as I thought it was necessary since. I am taking a look at his general, which is Season 7, Ahsoka, looking amazing. Probably my favorite look for Ahsoka so far, besides the uh, Mandalorian. But they have not given us a Mandalorian Ahsoka yet, so this is my favorite black series look for ahsoka as uh they only have the rebels version but this was an essential clone wars season seven was amazing in my opinion just some of the best star wars i've ever seen in my life um it was absolutely amazing if you haven't had a chance to check it out go check it out and uh these guys Obviously, they paint their face to match a to match Ahsoka's face. Um, so they are standard 501st troopers, but they paint their face, obviously. So I kind of wish they would have gave us an extra head. That is a 501st head. But, you know, what can you do, I guess? Um, a lot of people think the repaints of the clones are stupid and i've always kind of wondered why so a clone trooper obviously it's in the name it's a clone they look the same people get upset when they repaint this mold but it's like what what else are they going to do? It's a clone. That's the that's kind of the whole point of this figure right here. Um I I don't I just don't understand why people get so upset about the repaints on clones specifically cuz it's like it's a clone. They are supposed to look the exact same. Some look have different paint or colors on them, but they are the same. So I don't, I just don't understand why people get upset about Hasbro repainting clone troopers. It's like, it's a clone. They're, uh, they're supposed to look the exact same, just with different colors. Um, just, I don't know, something that irritates me sometimes when people get upset about, oh, they just repaint the, the clone troopers. It's like, well, duh, duh, I mean... <laughs> What are they going to do? Make a brand new mold for a clone that... I don't know what people think, but yeah. Obviously, the artwork goes together here as they are from the same wave. Um, Walmart exclusives, which I found both of these in stores, which super happy about. Super lucky. I know people struggled with that a lot, so... We'll take a look at Ahsoka's packaging here. She is in the new packaging, of course. And uh, the Clone Wars colors are yellow, as you can see here, as they have different um, colors for each, um, each like property, I guess, of Star Wars. So this is Clone Wars, so this is yellow. She's number two in the Clone Wars wave. Um, you can pause right there if you want to read the bio. Artwork is looking amazing on the back. Um, by now, we probably all know these boxes too well. So, obviously, here is the 332nd Troopers artwork on the side. Nice packaging. Same type of packaging. Um, you can read the bio right there if you choose. And this is number three in the Clone Wars. Uh, there were some other figures that came with uh, some, like, Mandalorian loyalists and uh, commandos and stuff like that. So, 
got my hands on both of these. I actually have a couple of these 332nd clone troopers already as I love the new body. Um, so let's get these two bad boys open. So for accessories, this guy, we're taking a look at the 332nd quick first. Comes with the standard clone blasters. Do not know the name for these, but iconic, you know, typical clone blaster rifles. So um, if you just want to see a review on these guys, um, you can go on my page and there are some videos um, some of my early videos, um, but yeah, typical, obviously we've seen these a hundred times by now, if you are a clone fan like I am, I'm a sucker for clones and stormtroopers both, so we see these guns a lot, obviously, um, super cool though, nonetheless, obviously, uh, essential to a clone trooper, so Let's look at the 332nd clone. All right, and this guy looks amazing. Um, I know on my other review, I looked at the helmet, and the helmet was a little warped on one of them in my other review, but this one is looking pristine. Um, the... This one just didn't have the warping. Obviously, there is a Tamora Morrison head sculpt under there, unpainted, as the helmet does not come off. I'm curious to why. I think they did it to size the helmets correctly, but it does add some warping to the figure as the new Return of the Jedi Boba Fett is hitting the streets and people are really upset about the helmet because the head sculpt underneath warped it big time so people are kind of getting upset about it i did a review on the elite squad trooper and it seemed to be perfect helmet like this but it still had the head sculpt under there so i don't know what they did to fix it really but he is looking amazing. Love this new clone body. A lot of people do not like this body because the knee pads stay on the thigh, which to me doesn't really matter to me really. But that is why on the Elite Squad Trooper they really mishmashed. Um, so this figure, I know they're releasing a 501st Archive Trooper, but that's going to be on the old body. So, I am going to do a little head swap to make a 501st on the new body. And I think that will look amazing. I can't wait to get the 501st Archive Trooper. I'm super excited about that. But, this figure is uh, amazing nonetheless. Love this figure. Um, Obviously, if you've seen Clone Wars, you know what is going on with this figure. He is a 501st that got split up in to serve Ahsoka in the Siege of Mandalore. And to show their loyalty to her, they painted their head um, the same as her face looks. As she has these um, this symbol on her face, so they showed their respect for her um by painting their helmets so this figure is amazing love this guy if you can get your hands on one or two or three or four do it i highly recommend it articulation he can look down about that far he can look up about that far some decent tilt obviously you can uh, exercise him exorcist him um, his arms, the pads do lift up at the top, so you can get full range of movement right there. Obviously, he has single elbows, but they go up a little past 90. You could squeeze it some more, but I do not want to 
break these rubber bands as they do float, but they can get um, kind of mangled up in there if you do that a lot. Obvious, obviously, the ab crunch is there. As there's a ball right there. Nice movement there. His leg does swivel. Nice hidden under the armor. Um, the knee, as I, as I uh, demonstrated earlier, goes up that far. Pretty nice range of movement there. I just don't, I don't know why people are complaining about these knee pads, but whatever. Um, the Elite Squad Trooper, where it was mishmashed, it looked amazing. You can check out that review on my channel. Um, these feet do not want to move much, but they do go back and forth, and there is Rocker. So, quick little review on this guy. He is amazing, and uh, highly recommend this guy. Epic. If you love Clone Wars, you need him. If you love Clone Wars Season 7, which of course I do, I think it's one of the best things in Star Wars. Just Season 7 is amazing. I, I don't have much more to say. Dave Filoni is genius, but... So get you this if you can. 100% recommend him. Now, let's take a look at Ahsoka. Alright, and for her accessory, she comes with a standard lightsaber. And if you've seen Clone Wars, you know that Anakin Skywalker made her these lightsabers. Um, love, love her hilts. I just think they're like a mix of Obi-Wan and Anakin's lightsaber a little bit. Just super cool hilts, in my opinion. I just love the look of her hilts. Obviously, you got the blue blade for season set of seven um, as she switched from green to blue. Well, Anakin switched her from green to blue. And here is her Shoto style lightsaber as it is shorter. Really cool. Iconic to her character. Just I just think it's so cool. Um, Ahsoka is one of my favorite characters in all of Star Wars. Um, really nice hilts here, loving the hilts, um, so these are her two accessories, but now let's look at Ahsoka herself. Alright, and here is Ahsoka, this is my first time looking at, uh, the Clone Wars Ahsoka, I wasn't gonna pick this up, because I already have the Rebels Ahsoka, but... I I decide I seen just such good reviews on this and I just really think it would be good in my prequel collection. Um I love the outfit. It has grown on me this outfit in particular. Uh this is probably my favorite look for her besides the Mandalorian look. Um love her little smirk on her face. I love the kind of dulled down blue like i know it's not 100 percent accurate but i don't know why i just kind of like it but she is looking absolutely amazing i love ahsoka so much she's one of my favorite characters um it just shows you how a character that is not original like she's not in the original six star wars movies but she's a fan favorite, so it shows you that us fans do, we like characters if they're fleshed out the right way. I'm talking about the sequels here. Um, just, I, I don't get when people say, oh, you just don't like a strong female character, that's why you don't like Rey. No, I just don't like Rey because her character sucks. Her, the actor is good. All that, the way her character was written is really bad. Ahsoka is the right way to write a character, regardless of gender. I don't care about any of that, but just a little stupid thing that people always try to throw on you when you say you hate Rey. But love Ahsoka, one of my all-time favorite Star Wars characters. She is looking amazing, in my opinion. Love this Look for her. 
So let's go over articulation. Her head goes back about that far as her tendrils do get in the way a little bit. There is some head tilt. She does not go forward that much. That's where the abs come in. Her ab has nice movement there. Arms go up that far. Elbows bend a little past 90. Pretty nice. Um, obviously, back and forth fourth for the hand let's see is this up and down yes it is so up and down um saber wielding hand but obviously she has two sabers so um her legs go out that far these are nice and bendy so it does get out of the way her legs go forward that far knee double knees um Bend about that far. Very nice. Um, her feet do have rocker um, back and forward. Not too much, but um, for a female, which female characters in plastic form are sometimes a little dainty and just small, she stands pretty well. Um, really well, actually. So, not a big problem to get her standing, but. I just, she looks super cool, in my opinion. I love this figure already. Can't wait to put her next to the 332nd clones in my collection and Anakin. Um, just gonna look really cool in the collection. So, 100% um, recommend this figure. All the paint looks amazing, all the little details on her. Um, obviously, she does have weapon storage right there. So you uh, pull the, the saber out and then this little peg will go, go in there. Um, but I display her with the sabers because she's a Jedi. Well, not a Jedi at this point, but nonetheless, she needs her sabers, obviously. So um, I will get them in a pose for you guys. And that is my review all right and here is my pose oh well she falls a little bit but i think it is pretty good nonetheless um you just gotta finagle her feet a little bit oh let's see if i can do this Let's see, so you just gotta, you know, kind of finagle her. She looks amazing. Love this figure. Um, just really impressed with how she came out. As I was going to pass on this figure at first, but really like these two together. Obviously, they go together. They just look amazing together. Um, couldn't be happier with these two right now. 100% recommend these figures. Get yourself a couple of those. 330 seconds so she they can flank Ahsoka. And yeah, they just look... I mean, her face just says it all. So really impressed with that head sculpt. Um, just her whole... Um, the whole figure in general. Um, it is not as much reuse as some people thought, I think. So, she is looking pretty, pretty good. So, if you like the video today, leave a like and subscribe. Um, helps out the channel a lot. And, uh, yeah, so, I'll see you guys in the next video.